What's going on, everybody? My name's Chris, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play. Yeah. Okay, we have time. In last episode, oh, freaking god dang it! I fell off this freaking ice, freaking stupid god dang thing, and I can't freaking get up ever. I get up, get up, and then I get down. Whoa, that was a freaking big jump. I didn't even, not even know we could make that freaking big ass jump. Big, big jump, jump, big, big. Um, we are doing the. Uh, seriously? What the? Fudgios and Rupees. I don't know what Rupees have anything to do with it, or really Fudgios. Oh my good lord. I'm not even- these aren't even slippery platforms. I am not even slippily, slidely around, but I'm still freaking failing at it. Uh, who even says the word fail anymore? Pfft, I do. I hate that phrase. Who even does that? Oh, that was- uh, something about that phrase makes me so angry. Because it's like if somebody like, I don't know, wears like socks with sandals or something, which you know was to- WHAT THE HELL?! ARE YOU SERIOUS?! I swung my sword at the pot and it knocks me back 20 feet! DUDE! DUDE! ARE YOU KIDDING ME?! I aimed that joystick perfectly, but Link decided to say no, screw you, and ran the complete opposite way. What a dinkus molinkus. What the hell was that? This is the cavern of many glitches! Oh, seriously though, um... Mm -hmm. We've already spent like god dang 15 minutes in this wide freaking room jumping to and from the same freaking god dang platform. What's in here? Whoa, holy crap! I was not expecting that. I thought it was gonna be a fairy. Um, go over here. Ooh, what's this? Wait a minute. I think in the last episode I said there wasn't something in this temple, but maybe there actually is. And by something, I mean we're about to find out, even though clearly by my right hand. Um, my right hand thingy, my ball. You guys will know that there is, in fact, a dungeon map. Yay! So, I guess I was right. I guess there is a dungeon map. Let's take a look at this place. Uh huh. Whoa! It's one floor, and it's actually not big at all. It's bigger than my penis! <laughs> Wait, what? That doesn't really make sense. I mean, it wouldn't really take much to be bigger than a human penis. I mean, let's be honest, those things aren't really that big, so. Yeah, unless you get some weird surgery done on yourself, which I mean would be very awkward since I don't know if it's true, but I heard if if a penis gets beyond a certain length, too much blood needs to flow into it in order to to make it erect, therefore making like uh, it would make you faint and be unable to do it much of anything because you know no blood flow through the rest of your body and such. Dude, okay, there we freaking go. Uh, it would be nice if I had more bottles, dude. Wait, uh, dude. It's a lot, dude. I got hit by that thing three times. There is no excuse for that. And, um, my giant knife isn't really doing too well. Um, considering it's taking like 30 hits to kill, it's actually kind of cool. It's like you don't see this much in Zelda games, but it takes like a lot of hits to kill from normal enemies. And I really. Dude, like, look at this! I'm attacking this guy, and Link keeps turning random ways as he swings the sword. I'm not touching the joystick. Ah, uh, freaking god dang Link. So it's broken. Oops, I didn't even equip it. Um, yeah, so the giant's knife only lasts for a while, so I pretty much wasted 200 rupees. But yeah, yeah, I don't really care that much. If I need to grind for rupees or something, then I'll do it. I'll do it for you guys. Cause I'd do anything! Just poop down your or throw. I am. Uh, that was really gross. I apologize. So now we have blue fire, yay! And that is pretty much a dead end, but. Dead ends don't mean you have to. Do something. I don't know what I was going with that. Dude, we really need to conserve our hearts now for wheels. Huh? Of course! Well, no! I missed, didn't I? Are you kidding me? Ah! Oh, I. My finger twitched at the last possible second and I turned around before I went in. Wait, what? This better lead me somewhere. Okay, it does. We are gonna need blue fire regardless. Oh, oh, there's more over here. Thank the load. Okay, rock well, easy. Yeah, I'm gonna kill you before you go in that blue fire and turn to an ice key. Is that how they turn to ice keys? I'm not really too sure, actually. I'm not really too sure if there's ice keys anywhere else in this game, to be honest. Huh. Never thought about that before. Uh, apparently, I hear a chicka 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 chicka. So that could only mean one thing. This place has ants on the wall. I don't know why it means that. Okay, I'm actually really happy. I did not know this blue fire thing existed here. 
but now I do, and it makes me really freaking happy because now I could got I could go and get freaking piece of hearts. Yay, I did it! Holy crap. Probably don't really have too much. I'm gonna be smart about this. Oh no, I can't be smart about this, can I? Oh no, the one time I ever be trying to be smart about something, it doesn't even work. Except it did. Okay, I thought when I broke those ice or all that ice, I would get too close to the ice keys and they'd fly away, but I fixed it. And by fix it, I mean yeah, I, my hypothesis was incorrect. What is in this chest? I don't freaking know. What if I know what's in the chest? Because I want to know. Eh, it's a compass! Next, see the location of many hidden things in the dungeon. Yay, I guess. Okay, so, oh great, there's one chest. Super. <laughs> is that it? I'm pretty sure that is it. There's just one chest and that's it. Was, did I pick up any other chests in this? I don't think I did. That's kind of funny and hilarious. Well, I, then again, we can see where we are on the map now, so... That's a plus. There you are. Okay, I knew this was in here somewhere. So right in between episodes, I did look up uh, what, what is all in this. Oh, I forgot that I only took one arrow. I was expecting to take two, like, you know, the hook shot. Or, that is what it's called, right? The hook shot, right? I was getting mixed up between that and the slingshot, I guess? No, not the slingshot. Although, those are two easy words to mix up. They're not, like, you know, similar devices, but... You know, they're easy to mix up just because of how similar the words are. And by similar the words, I mean they just have the word shot in them and that's it. So, and they both start with S too. So, you know, that's a thing. Alright. We need all the fire we can muster. There we go. We're gonna have to come back to this room a few times. But I'd much rather come back to this room and do that stupid jumping puzzle again. This freaking god damn, I hate it. I hate it. Holy crap, the map in this room! It totally looks like Pac-Man, you know, like the 3D version of Pac-Man, not like the not like the retro version of Pac-Man. But look, it looks like he's falling down on his face, and like the two limbs on the right, I'll call them limbs, and they're not limbs. They're his legs, right? And then on the left, they're his arms, and the big circle part is his body. <laughs> That's awesome, and kind of really stupid, but really hilarious as well. And look, the yellow wedge I am on the map, the yellow triangle for where I, like, you know, where I am on the map. God dang, possessed paws. I, it, I'm like, I'm like the Pac-Man, I'm like the mouth part of Pac-Man, or something. Not really, that doesn't really make any sense, I apologize, I apologize, actually. Apologizing is for chumps, and chimps. Alright, what's this way? Ooh, ooh la la, I should probably maybe go back and get blue fire. Die back, okay. Yeah, I might as well get blue fire now while I can. It's really easy. And hey, look, it's the last culture. That was really easy to find for one. And two, I was kind of shocked. I just kind of like by chance looked that way. All right, okay. Oh, the hook shot does kill in one hit. And I see you, Ice Keys. I hate you. Ha ha, I can't touch me when I'm in a freaking text. Oh, god dang it. I hate you. I hate you with a fiery passion. And fiery passion so I can kill you. <laughs> Alright, it seems the arrows are much more effective because they're much more fast. Alright, come here. Look at me, you bastard! I will kill you with my arrows! So I guess the best bet would be- Dude, come on! You're clearly close enough, dude! Holy crap! That's cool, like, flung him across the screen, too. <laughs> uh. Alright, so another silver rupee challenge. A? Uh, how are we supposed to get these? What? Oh, we can't get that! Oh, nice! I actually didn't think we would be able to. Okay, how do we get that one? I don't think we can jump from there to there. From there to there. There to there, my little brother! There to there! I don't know what that was. What about this? What is- what's with this? Hmm. Oh, we can jump from there to there. Oh, cool. We did it. Yay! I have no idea how the heck to get that one, though. Just kidding, I do. <laughs> okay, so... We can move it! Yay! I mean, that's pretty obvious. And whoa, there's a big crack on the ground. Weird. Strange. Interesting. Hey, there's more fire up here. Dude. But th once again, that fire that's on that ledge, you'd have to push this block through this block puzzle to get to. And I almost feel like I would rather just run back. Dude, stop it! Face the crack. Dude! No! I almost feel like I'd, I'd much rather just, you know run across the entire temple and get it that way. And what is with those roofs up there? 
Actually, I think I might know what's up with those whoops up there. Oh my good lord. Ah! Climb, dang it! Dude, could you cut the poop? Cut the poop. Okay, camera. Here we go. Should we all do this? Because I, I don't. Well, I guess it wouldn't really matter if I push this this way, would it? I think so. Whatever. I don't care anymore. I don't care anymore. Oh, I guess I was wrong. Wait, I want to try something. If you play the song of time there, doesn't make blocks of time appear. And I just freaking kicked my god dang headphones almost out of the socket. I'm so annoyed. I hate when stuff like that happens. It's like if I'm walking down somewhere. Wait, I'm, I'm going to pray this right A down before I say anything more. Dude, I need the ocarina. I'm so aggravated today for some reason. It's because of this freaking jump puzzles and freaking god dang link moving right A down, right A down. Okay, let's see if this does anything. But I hate when I- Dude, I just bumped my mic. I hate when I just kind of slowly move my body and I somehow manage to hit stuff by accident and knock things over. What the heck? What? That is so awkwardly placed. Holy crap. It's so weird to me and I don't feel- Like, that does not look like that should be a thing. <laughs> I figured I'd maybe make a staircase up there or something, but nope. No drug test out. No, no drug test. Where is the other silver rupee? Is it in there? I don't think it's like behind this fire, is it? What the heck was that? Yeah, one of my biggest like annoyances in the world that makes me immediately mad is when I like knock stuff over by accident. Oh, it's up there. I see. Uh, I don't think it's the way to get to that anymore from here, is there? And I can't move right now. Apparently, you can't move when this thing is moving. Who knew? Not I, said the Chris. Okay, yeah, so this is impossible. Oh, dude! <gasps> I have to get all the silver rupees again. Don't die. Why would anyone break that ice? What? Is this the beginning? Where are we right now? What? Are you kidding me right now? Are you kidding me right now? I'm a kitty right now. Meow, meow, meow. Um, uh, that's really stupid. They put me at the beginning of the temple. What? Well, that's annoying. I'll see you guys when I collect all those rupees and get back to that room and etc. etc. <laughs> and I'm back, I guess. Um, that was really annoying and obnoxious. That did take too long, though. So whatever. So over it. Who even does that? Okay. Um. All right. So now apparently I have to, dude. <laughs> Why does the button for grabbing also have to be the same button for climbing? Is there really no other button they could have used at all? Come on. Come on. Get jiggy with it. All right. Get, dude, see what I mean? Good lord. It's so annoying and obnoxious. I'm just trying to climb, but now he's grabbing, and it's com the complete opposite normally. And I better be close enough, please. Right? <laughs> oh, what? Holy crap. I was going to say... <laughs> If it's not close enough, I'm gonna kill. I'm gonna kill everything. Ah! Okay. Um. That was. That's no. Nope. No. Oh. Okay. I, this block is now stuck here. Great. Push it in. Push it to the limit. It's weird when he pushes block, a new one just kind of pops up. It's like what? <laughs> that's so strange. Okay. Um. Hmm. I don't remember the solution to this puzzle. Let's go. What? And what? No. And then, okay, that is it. I have figured it out with my big, big brain. I just pretend to be the block. And see what I mean? Now I'm climbing it instead of grabbing it. Before I was grabbing it instead of climbing it. Ah, so annoying. It always does the opposite of what I wanted to do. Always. Freaking always. Ah, I'm so mad. <laughs> I'm so stupidly mad at nothing. Mm, okay, well, we'll just push this block back and forth. We push this block back and forth. Every time. I think every time but once that's happened. Where I go to, where I climb it instead of grab it like I freaking ask it to. There we go. Finally, I did it. This takes a little time and patience. <laughs> Neither of which I have. <laughs> uh, okay, climb up the freaking god dang ice block of doom and death and probably even some destruction, but I'm not in charge of it though. I hate you. Can I get these guys with arrows? 
person. Now, that would be Rodonka Dong. I think. Well, too late now. But I try, did kind of want to try hitting these with the Mega Touch. We'll just to see what happens. Boom! It doesn't even kill him one hit. Come on. Seriously. Whoa, holy crap. Okay, let's try it again. Right. Well, crap. That sucks. Sure, you can interrupt my attacks with your attack, but I can't interrupt your attack with my attack. Come on, Mega Ton Hammer should totally kill those things with one freaking hit. Let's see if we can get all these with this one blue fire. I'm totally gonna need to go back and get my blue fire attack. <laughs> uh, well, either, either way, I'm gonna need to go get more blue fire eventually, anyways. But we did get it all. Yay! But it's kind of a dead end, so. Yay, dead ends. Uh, where do we go now? What? This is the only way. I'm, I'm just kidding. I know which way to go. <laughs> that tricky, guys. You can kind of. You can see like the the fate. The you can see the outline of a door. This room is freaking cool. Oh my god! It's a wolfos. A white wolfos. That's kind of winking at me a little bit. I think it likes me. Luna claws with you and watch his movement carefully. Attack when it jumps. Or I can just spam the attack button. Aw, uh, yeah. Bam. It's that, really, that's it? That was your mini boss? I bet if I saw the, the giant's knife, I could have jump attacked him in one hit. Jump attack. Did, 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 oh, I can't. I thought that, I thought that just gated up. Maybe, I, maybe the gate went down. That's probably what it was. All right, let's see what's in this freaking gosh dog. Dig it in a treasure chest. Ah, that's it. Yay! You you got the iron boots. So heavy you can't run. So heavy you can't float. And by that's it, I mean that that's really the end of this place. Like I got the dungeon item, and this is the last room in it. And what the heck is Sheik doing? I mean, uh, yeah. You meet again, Link. I don't remember. I don't remember your voice, Sheik. I don't. I, I don't. I, if you came here to meet the Zoras, you wasted your time. This is all there is. I didn't come here to meet the Zoras. I'm in the ice cavern. Why would they be inside an ice cavern? With one excep exception, the Zoras are now sealed under this thick ice sheet. I managed to rescue the Zora princess from under the ice, but she left the head for the water. What do you mean all except one? The King Zoro is still there. I mean, he's also under some ice, but I mean, he's not under this ice sheet. This ice is created by an evil curse. The monster in the water temple is the source of the curse. Unless you shut off the source, this ice will never melt. If you have courage enough to confront the danger and save the Zoras, I will teach you the melody that leads to the temple. Please do. Time passes. People move. Like a river flows, it never ends. A childish, mind, a childish mind will turn to noble ambition. Young love, <laughs> young love will become deep affection. The clear water's surface reflects growth. What are you talking about? Now listen to the serenade of water to reflect upon yourself. I like how Sheik has tape around his fingers. That looks really cool, in my opinion. I feel like if I saw it as a kid, I would totally want to wear tape around my fingers at all times. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Holy crap, I thought the game just broke. Holy crap, that terrified me. Everything was all black. And I don't recognize this. I mean, I know we're on the walls here, but... Yeah. I knew we were in the walls there, but I, n I did not recognize that cutscene. That did not ring any bells. That almost felt kind of glitched out, because normally it shows cutscenes of, like... Link and Sheik playing the song as he learns it, but that time it was just kind of in the walls. Look cool though. Link, I'll see you again. <laughs> I like how Link always runs at Sheik at the last possible second. Yay, I did it. Yay. Yay, what is this? Uh, okay then. Um, I don't actually know where this leads. And it might be a bad idea since I do need. What? Oh, it's just in water. Oh, wait. oh, no, no, no. That's not how this works. Okay, the iron boots, you would think they would work like an item, like in other Zelda games, but no, you have to equip them as if, like, you know, you know you're equipping a sword or something. And I find that really strange. Oh, my good lord, glitchiness. You can't breathe underwater. If you start choking, take off those boots. No. Where is this taking me? Where are you taking me? Oh, we're up here. 
Okay, well, that's good. I thought this was gonna take me. Dude, apparently, you can't fall on ledges with these iron boots. That's annoying. Um, uh, 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 what was I gonna say? Dang it, I lost my track train of thought. My track of thought. Nope, there's some ice in here. We're not gonna be able to unfreeze, but whatever. There's only a red ruby in there. Uh, we are gonna get two more pieces of blue fire. I think that's all the blue fire we need for the rest of the game, I hope. I'm not entirely sure to be honest, but I really hope so because I don't like coming to this place. It's annoying to get to. Seriously, come on. Dude! Dude! Why can I not break that pot? Ah, the vertical slashes, man. They suck. Ah, I hate this game. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Don't take that seriously. I like this game, okay? We got the blue fire! And now, I mean, you might think that, yeah, hey, we're done this temple, we can just leave now. But yeah, you do want to come back and get the blue fire. No, because I mean, if you remember, there's some other ice you could melt. Do you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> no, of course not. Because you're a stupid head. I'm just kidding. You're probably really smart in your own unique way. That's just not known to you yet, or anybody, or your friends or family. And they're just like, oh, "What's wrong with my child? He's all weird." Okay. Um, I guess we're just done here now. <laughs> I really hope I don't need this blue fire again, but we might. I don't remember 100%. Am I gonna make this? I'm not gonna make it. Am I? Oh, I did make it. That shot, to be honest. I thought it was gonna be a dick to me one last time. It hit me. The spike trap, that is. Okay, let's leave this place. Leave this place. All right. So, we're actually done with this place. I mean, as you could clearly tell by me leaving. But. Uh, we are now gonna go melt some other ice with maybe some people trapped inside of it and maybe a shop. Haha, <laughs> you see what I'm talking about yet? Where is the fairy fountain? Oh, it's over there. Okay, I wanna go over there and see if there's anything in there. Oh, it's probably just fairy. Actually, for some reason, I, I, had, the, I had the feeling it changes, but it doesn't. Although, I will say, when the fairy fountain we got in Hyrule Castle, that does change from child to adult. So it's like, if, I mean, you come to this part, you get access to this at the beginning, or really soon in the game, right? Wait, there is, we don't get anything here, do we? I don't think we do. I'm gonna feel stupid if we do. Oh, are you kidding me? No way! Fuck! I just pressed the wrong button and wasted my blue fire. Are you kidding me right meow? Oh my, how many rupees do I have? I think you could buy blue fire for 200 rupees. I'm gonna do that, because screw it, I hate everything. And I apologize for swearing, I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> but seriously, I hate it. I will soothe your wounds. <laughs> yeah, so you come here for a second time, and it's like, okay, I guess you don't get anything for coming back to the fairy fountain seven years later. But that's not true for the Hyrule Castle one, because you actually do get something if you go there again. You get something new, and it's actually like the best upgrade in the game, pretty much. But we don't get it till like the end of the game, and we do have over 200 rupees. Thank the loads. Um, but yeah, so I found it really strange to me and kind of a dick move for Nintendo to like make one fairy fountain. You get something new if you go there like a second time and the other ones if you go there a second time in the future you don't get anything. So I don't really freaking know. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Let's Play Ocarina of Time. In the next episode, we will melt... Well, first, we're going to be smart and melt the shop, and then we're going to go inside the shop and buy, buy blue flyler. That's, that's buying blue fire. Just my tongue got all weird there. Uh-huh. Let's go down here. Let's, let's, let's go stop right in front of the door of the shop. It will probably be at least a bit more climactic. Climatic? Climatic. I, I can never say that word. Is it climatic or climactic? Climatic. That's got to be it. See, why can I never hit these pots ever? Oh my good lord, I hate this game. <laughs> okay, um, thank you guys so much for watching! And I'll see you guys next time! Bye bye! That's not what I wanted to do at all!